Welcome back to the Anti-Man channel. We are back with another money play of the day. Now this play comes to me via an online head-to-head -head game where my opponent was running this play on first down. And basically what he was doing was taking a shot downfield every time on first down. Now his completion percentage was probably about 40% when he ran this play, but when he put this play together with his entire scheme, it was really difficult to stop. So in this video, I'm going to post how he was running this play if you don't already know about it, because I haven't really come across people who've been running this play consistently. So when I faced it online, it gave me problems in the beginning. So the play is out of the gun split close formation, and it is called called vertical shots so what we're going to go up against is just random defense so you can see how this play pretty much just toasts anything um, if you don't know how to stop it now let's just take a look quick look at what this defense is it's a cover two invert and the way he was running just drop back and he's just waiting for this guy to get deep and all he would do was aggressive catch it right so right there gets knocked out of his hand um, that's all he was doing first down no adjustments just call the play you get like seven man protection Right there, I got one-on-one, -on -one, and he just ag aggressive catch it. Uh, he keeps knocking out of his hand. But again, this is what he was doing on me. And every so often, he would actually get that aggressive catch. Right here, it looks like cover four. Even on cover four, you get that one-on-one. -on -one. Look, he just catches it over the top of cover four. Um, and this is what he was doing every time. First down. Now, right here is cover two. If you see that uh, against cover two, as soon as he gets behind that defender right there, you kind of pass lead it to the sideline, and he'll catch it right there uh, without anybody being able to knock him down. So right there, I waited for A.J. Green to get behind that defender, and then I just pass led it to the sideline, and you can see he catches it, open space, and just catches it. And this is what this guy was doing, like, every time, first down. And I really didn't – I've never really seen anybody run it like this, but he was running this every single time, and he didn't make any adjustments. He just waited for this guy to get deep and basically tried to aggressive catch me. And the reason it, and there you go, the reason it works so well is because I think it was a personnel thing. I mean, the Bengals, he was running with the Bengals. What is this? This is probably cover four. Yeah, and that happened to him a couple times. He would throw it and it would go out of bounds. But you don't really lose anything if you're going to take a shot on first down and you throw the ball out of bounds like that. Now, right here, I got one on one AJ Green. And uh, gets knocked out of his hand. But the thing is, what I was doing was, when he would throw it, I would click onto the defender. And for some reason, my guy just couldn't make a play. You guys know about the aggressive catch this year. It's ridiculous. And every time I try to switch on, I try to go for the pick. I try to play the ball. Every time, he would just catch it right over the top, just like that, even with two defenders there. And he's still catching it. And that's all you got to do. Just drop back, wait for him to get... Pretty, uh, like maybe 20 yards deep, aggressive catch it, and right there, that he, that's what he was doing. And it's that simple. There's no gimmicks to it. This is just one of these glitchy plays where, look at this, where you can just throw it up, and what is supposedly supposed to be a 50-50 ball is more like 80%. And now right there, oh, let's, let's take a look at that because I'm going to do some um, stop this play segments um, on how to stop this particular play. Because I got one, but this 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 is um kind of interesting right here. So this guy like slips in here, looks like an overload. Because I'm gonna try to figure out some plays to stop this. This guy kind of actually slips through. If we take a look at this DB, kind of slips through there. But you can see we're just running this on random plays. And oh, look at this, There's nobody even over there. I guess he threw it out of bounds. So the thing is. You run this play on first down, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the scheme this guy was running because it was pretty nice. It was a nice scheme. I mean, he worked he worked this play in on first down, and if he didn't convert on you, he had other stuff, and he basically just went split close. And you see right here, look, aggressive catch. I'm just going to catch it over the top. Exactly. And if you've got a short defender or maybe not even a premier top elite corner, you're going to get burned, you know. So if you've got a if you've got a number one receiver like Julio Jones, Des Bryant, uh, Calvin Johnson, I mean this play is going to be murder for you because it's so easy. You don't have to do any; just throw it up, aggressive catch it, and your guy's going to catch it over the top. And sometimes he'll even break tackles and take it to the house. Um, but I'm going to post this guy's scheme 
Now right here is cover two. I'm going to angle it over there, and then look at this. Ends up running for a touchdown. And I hadn't faced anybody running this. But what I'm going to do is post this guy's scheme because it's just a nice scheme. It's probably one of the best schemes I've come across because it took me a little bit of time to figure out how to stop uh, what he was doing because he would go to the, the famous wide receiver corner play out of the split close. Um, then he'd throw in a couple other plays. And then he, as he moved the ball down the field, he would start to change it up. But he, he had a real good command of what he was doing on offense. So I'm going to have to post this scheme up here. Now right there, kind of forced it into double coverage. But I'm going to post the scheme up here and see what it's like. But you, you see, you get the gist of this play. Um, it's, not, it's not too – look, I'm just waiting for this guy to get deep. Oh, he throws it out of bounds. And you just throw the ball up, aggressive catch it. So that's the, that's the gist of this play. Uh, I'm going to follow this video up, like I said, with the, the scheme this guy was running. And then I'm going to put up how to stop this play. Because I got in the, as soon as I played this guy, I won the game. But as soon as I played him, I got in the lab because it was just this play was difficult to stop. I mean, I had to get in there and figure out. But I got one play um, just now as I was making this video. I figured out another play that could stop this. So I'm going to post how to stop this. If you ever come across somebody who's fourth and um, 18 and they, they just want to throw and they want to run split close and just throw this up there. I got a couple plays that are going to get really fast pressure and not going to let them get time to get this deep throw down the field. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time, the Anti-Madness out. Peace.